In this video, you'll receive step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply, use, and remove iPort Advance. Let's go over the main parts of iPort Advance. The insertion device holds the introducer needle. The iPort Advance includes a soft cannula and adhesive that keeps the injection port in place. Begin by washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Find an application site that works for you. Application sites include the abdomen, upper thighs, back of arms, hips, and upper buttocks. Be sure to avoid areas that rub against clothing, such as a belt or the waistband of your pant line. Clean the application site you've chosen by swabbing your skin with rubbing alcohol. Be sure to let the skin surface dry completely before applying iPort Advance. Pull down on the red tab located on the side of the injection port and remove the plastic seal wrapped around the device. Next, remove the sterile paper from the bottom of the device by gently pulling back on the tab. Turn the device over and locate the three raised marks on either side of the lid. Squeeze the raised marks to remove lid. Next, remove the paper backing from the adhesive pad of iPort Advance by gently pulling up on the white tab. Remove the needle guard by gently twisting to loosen it and pulling it off. Turn the insertion device over and with the insertion needle facing away from you, hold the lined ridges located on either side of the device. With the other hand, Pull on the center of the insertion device until you hear it click. You are now ready to apply the device. To apply, hold the insertion device against your skin over the site you have prepared. Locate the round indentations on either side of the device. Once your fingers are in position, squeeze simultaneously to insert the injection port. Press down on the center of the insertion device to secure iPort Advance to the skin, and then gently pull the insertion device straight out. Smooth down the adhesive to secure it to your skin. To discard the insertion device, replace the plastic lid and dispose of it in your sharps container. Remember, do not use needles longer than 5 16th inch or 8 millimeters, or smaller than 3 16th inch or 5 millimeters. Also, do not use needles thicker than 28 gauge. Swab the septum or top of iPort Advance. To begin injection, insert the needle of the syringe or pen fully into the septum and slowly push down the plunger. Medication will be delivered to the tissue under your skin, as shown in this graphic. If you are using a pen, refer to the manufacturer of your medication to determine how long to wait to administer your medication. Hold iPort Advance down with your free hand and slowly remove the syringe or pen. For individuals with diabetes that require both long-acting and rapid-acting insulin, it is suggested to inject the rapid-acting insulin first, wait 60 minutes, and then inject the long-acting insulin. You can wear iPort Advance for up to 72 hours before changing injection sites, and you can continue participating in all normal daily activities, such as bathing, sleeping, and exercising. To remove iPort Advance, grab edge of adhesive and pull off. For more information, please review the user guide.